welcome to my channel. This video is for a tiered tray using Dollar Tree products. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell for notifications on my uploads and live streams. I'll be using these burner covers. They're solid white on the inside and on the sides. This chalkboard tags, they're kind of heavy, wooden. These wooden cubes. This recycled Pioneer Woman marinara sauce jar. I'll be using E6000 glue and hot glue. Normally for the center of my tiered trays, I use something like these pillars or candle holders, and these are supposed to be from Dollar Tree, but I have yet to see some in the store, so when I do, I will make a tiered tray using them. So look out for those. Now first I'm gonna put some E6000 glue right in the center of the largest burner cover. And then I'm going to also put some hot glue next next to that E6000 glue. I'm not putting it on top of the E6000. I put it next to it. The E6000 is going to hold it for a long time, but the hot glue is going to make it stay immediately. So I put four right in the center, and now I'm going to space some out, and I'm just testing it out first to see where I want them. And this simply is going to keep the large burner or the bottom of the tear tray off the uh, like table or wherever you're going to sit it so it won't be directly flat on your table or counter or whatever you'll have this little these will be like spacers so I thought they were a good little idea and again I'm doing E6000 and hot glue on both of them so right side by side I'll put like E6000 on one side of the little cube and then hot glue on the other side and I'm just going around very quickly doing all of them and I'm trying to face them all the dire same direction even though I don't think you can really see them underneath there. But I just like the idea of uh, having this little spacer and they were such an affordable thing to do. You could also put little felt on the bottom as well. Just finding the center. I'm not going to mark it though because I'm using this clear glass so I don't want it to show through. But I just kind of want to see where that center is. And I'm going to put the glue right there where it's the highest point on that jar. And I know it's unusual to use a jar for this, but I really wanted to see how it would turn out. And I'm going to be using the lid too, and I'll show you why. So again, I did E6000 and hot glue. That way it, the hot glue will make it stick immediately and stay, and then the E6000 will make it stay longer. Now here's the smaller one, and I'm going to glue the lid of that jar right in the center. And again, I'm using E6000. I did it in the center and then on the outer part of the lid. I thought those lids were really cute too. It has a cute pattern. So I didn't even need to paint anything. That's what I really liked about it. Now normally when I make it to your tray, like I said, I use a pillar or a candle holder, something that's skinny. I've never used anything that's chunky before. And I'm going to add some hot glue there around the edge of the jar lid as well. But I did like the idea of this. It was something fun and different to do because you could take it apart if you want to. So using the lid, you can still unscrew it. So now I'm going to add this little chalkboard tag. And here's some other chalkboard tags they have. They're much thinner. They're more like cardstock. But these right here are more like a wooden. And so I'm just going to take some twine. This twine is also from Dollar Tree. I'm just kind of figuring out how long I want the twine to be, how long I need it to be to wrap it around. And I'm not going to hold the tag up that high or you probably wouldn't be able to see it. So it needs to hang down about midway. So I'm going to tie a little knot there and then I'm going to figure out how far it needs to hang down. So now I'm going to take the tag or the twine and just tie a knot in it right there. A simple knot. I'm going to pull that twine through and make sure I have enough enough length to wrap around the jar lid but tying another knot will make sure that the tag hangs down for me. So now I'm just going to cut that excess off and now see I can wrap it around and it's hanging down midway to three-fourths of the way down and I just want to pull that as tight as I can and then I'm just going to tie a simple shoelace bow. Nothing complicated here. You could tie a knot as well. <clears throat> Let's see how cute that is. They also have chalk writers here in different colors. So you could write happy birthday, happy graduation, whatever it is. Here's a piece of ribbon I'm just going to put in there just to show you how you can add some color with this. Now what about you could put 
colorful gumballs, which I know they have at Dollar Tree. So if it's like a birthday or graduation, you want something colorful, or you could do M&Ms in the center, or something fun like that and real colorful, or you could just add tissue for one solid color, and you could take it apart and use it as two separate trays, and then you can make that like a little vase. And like these are glitter card stocks that you can cut different shapes if you have a vinyl cutter. And so if it's graduation or baseball or whatever, you could do all these different uh, designs and glue them to these like stakes. Here's some pictures of it finished and some gumballs in that jar. You would need two or three bags to fill it full, but here's just a little idea. You could put cupcakes all around it, or I'd love to hear your ideas. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this inspires you. Please comment, share, like. Please be kind with your comments. Please be kind to others, and happy crafting.